All right, we are going to find the area that lies inside of r is equal to 3 sine theta, but outside of 1 plus sine theta. So which one's which? Well, the blue one is actually this. Why? Because when theta is equal to pi over 2, we're looking at this direction. Put it here, sine of pi over 2 is 1, 1 times 3 is 3, so you will have to go out all the way to 3 right here. See, that's pretty much it. Or if you would like, you can just use the graphing calculator to graph the equations, and you'll see that this one right here is 3 sine theta, which is actually a circle, and the red one is this. And to me, this looks like a peach, not like a heart. That's just my opinion. But anyway, though, let's just put that down right here. Okay, with that being said, based on the question, we will be looking for this region here because it's inside of the blue one, but outside of the red one. Be really careful because if the question is saying inside of the red, but outside of the blue, then it will be like this and that, right? But anyway, okay, so here's the deal. We can do this two ways. The first way is we can just go from here all the way to here. So we just have to find theta 1 and theta 2. Or we can just go from here to here and take the advantage of the symmetry. We can just double the result. That's it. But I will do the first way though. So that way I can show you guys more of the trick equations or that. But anyway though, here we go. Um, which angles, which angles will they equal? We will have to set them equal to each other. So 3 sine theta, we have to make this equal to 1 plus sine theta. So this is just to find the theta so that they will intersect each other. Okay, so here we go. Minus sine theta on both sides, so we have 2 sine theta, that's equal to 1. Divide 2 on both sides, so sine theta is equal to 1 half. Well, sine of one angle will give us 1 half. Let's go ahead and draw the picture real quick. Here is the reference triangle. Well, the upper side right here has to be 1. The hypotenuse is 2. So this is a 30, 60, 90 special red triangle, meaning that this right here is pi over 6. Well, we can also have another triangle right here. Well, let me just make it better. All right. So like this. And this is still 1, 2. And this is still pi over 6. But be sure you measure the angle from here to here. So the whole thing is pi minus pi over 6, we get 5 pi over 6. Great, so theta 1 is the first angle that they intersect, and then theta 2 is the second angle that they intersect. And of course, you have to do this in order. This is the first angle, and then the second angle is this. So do not you know, keep rotating. That's not going to work, right? OK, so now we just have to do the outside minus the inside, just like the good old calculus one day when we're trying to find the areas between the curves. So let me just write this down right here for you guys. The area is equal to, let me put down the blue one for you guys first. Well, we integrated from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6. And be sure you have the 1 half. This is a very common mistake that students just missed it, right? Okay, so I will just enter the blue one right here, which is 3 sine theta, and then be sure to square that, and then d theta. And then we will have to minus the inner part, which is the red integral right here, going from pi over 6 to 5 pi over 6. And then we still have the same thing, 1 half, and then parentheses, but this time though, inside is 1 plus sine theta, square and then d theta that all right so that's it and uh, i'm going to ask you guys to give me the answer in the comment section right and that's it yeah and then i'd like to show you guys two separate integrals is so that you can see that this right here calculates the area from here and then to here the whole thing and then you minus the inside so you can also of course put them together inside but i think this is slightly more clear anyway though that's it